Britain's still one of the most powerful countries on earth. So who we vote for on 12th of December matters to people right across the world. And to many, it's a matter of life or death. So let's look at the Tories' record on foreign policy. In Yemen, Britain's sustaining an indiscriminate Saudi bombing campaign that's killed thousands of civilians. British jets form a large proportion of the Saudi Air Force, and those jets can't fly, let alone carry on bombing civilians, without ongoing technical and logistical support from the UK. The Saudis have imposed a blockade on Yemen that is the leading cause of what's now the world's worst humanitarian disaster. We can't afford a decent meal. We're now begging to eat and feed our children. It's a man-made catastrophe in which 85,000 infant children have died of starvation or preventable disease. The situation in Yemen today, right now, to the population of the country looks like the apocalypse. In Yemen, Britain's an accessory to mass murder. On climate change, the Tories are on course to miss their own targets to reduce carbon emissions. Britain's the world's sixth largest economy, so what we do on climate change matters. With time running out, Tory failures are a death sentence to millions in the global south where the worst effects of the climate emergency are already being felt. There's more. Under the Tories, Britain intervened in Libya in 2011, promising to deliver democracy, but instead Libya is now a failed state and the country is still gripped by civil war eight years later. All we hope is a little kind of the peace. Britain increased arms sales to Egypt after the country's first elected government was overthrown by the military. Their first experience of democracy in Egypt is threatened at birth by the military coup against the constitution. And even after the coup regime slaughtered over a thousand civilians in massacres described by Human Rights Watch as a crime against humanity. This was a systematic planned attack on protesters. Britain increased arms sales to Bahrain after the regime violently crushed a peaceful pro-democracy movement in 2011. Britain carried on selling arms to Israel, even as it gunned down unarmed protesters in Gaza. And Britain maintains warm and friendly relations with Donald Trump, the world's leading racist demagogue and the world's leading threat to international security, rolling out the red carpet for a state visit last year. Is this really the sort of country we want to be? We can see from Boris Johnson's own long record of racism. Already vulnerable Muslim women, when they are described as looking like bank robbers and letterboxes. Yeah. Right. And the fact that the Tories chose him as their leader but this is a party that holds the peoples of the global south in total contempt. Their record in office puts that beyond question. In Yemen, right now, Britain is contributing directly to the deaths of tens of thousands of people. This can't be allowed to continue. The Labour have pledged to immediately end support for the Saudis in Yemen, cease arms sales to human rights abusers, and to implement a serious plan to tackle the climate emergency. Don't let anyone tell you there isn't a real choice to make on 12th of December, and don't waste your vote on election day. Lives depend on the outcome.